Um, the other thing we can do is obviously uh, send that uh, to deliveries. So we can go and uh, grab that and uh, send that in and uh, create that delivery. As that delivery comes in, um, we can then determine uh, how it is that that is going to be shipped. Um, so one of the things I did was I allowed the shipping method to be Bob Trump. Um, so what we're going to do is actually go and grab those lines and um, essentially auto pick that um, and get that ready uh, so that it can be done. So we can obviously do the pick pack labels and all that sort of stuff and then uh, essentially update um, the status or um, bring it back to in picking because what we're actually going to do is um, go and uh, allocate it to be able to be done. So you can see um, back on the assignment board, um, we've got all our various things. You can see here's my uh, delivery that we just created. Uh, and what I'm going to do is um, Bob seems to have a, a bit of a gap. So I'm going to throw it uh, on his board. Um, and that way he's essentially can go and do this quick delivery before he ducks off to his next job. So I can then jump back into freeway. I'm now out on the road um, doing um, so a couple of different things uh, and one of the things I'm going to do is now live refresh uh, so straight away it goes well um, you know, here's, here's your delivery so we can go off and um, do, do that delivery and sort of uh, just dropped it into our system. Okay. Um, so once, once that's done um, then we can go off, I'll just grab a delivery sheet so you can see um, it can go and um, track the GPS and, and get that information. Also says what needs to be delivered. Um, so you can actually um, go and grab those and it will show or demonstrate to the people what it is um, that you, you're delivering in those situations where people want to know what's been delivered. If there are any instructions, they would have come through. If I need to get their signature, which is typically something you need to do when you're out on deliveries, you can do that. Um, and then if need be, we can display that delivery. Otherwise, as we leave, we just complete the sheet and off we go. And that essentially updates and completes that delivery um, and updates the assignment board to show that that is now um, being delivered. So other functionality that people like to do when they're out um, and do it remotely is to be able to run uh, purchase orders. Um, the purchase orders, um, you can essentially um, uh, generate a purchase order and allocate to a job or you can also um, receipt um, with no order if, if your um, settings allow you to do so. So what I'm going to show you is um, how we can do a purchase order and uh, assign that uh, to a job while we're out on the road. So essentially I grab my supplier and then I'm going to do a purchase order. The materials and charges, so a lot of these screens you can see all, all work the same. Go and grab my fasteners, grab some washers. And I might need about 50 of those. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to allocate this to a job. Okay, so I can go and find a particular job that I might be working on. Uh, so let's say it's, uh, it's 215. Once again, I can print that purchase order. Okay, and it's telling me it's 50 of those. Here's the price, away we go. And then complete that sheet. Okay, so if we open um, Stendo back up again, go to our purchase orders. Okay. 
you can see the freeway order has come in. We can look at our lines, there they are, 50, and there's job 215 that it was allocated against. Yeah.